what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john 34 here bringing you guys more info news and if you guys have heard lately there has been many sign ups many releases many trades going on in the past hours and um well one that really surprised me the most again the philadelphia eagles head coach has traded out someone and uh this time the position is the quarterback position the person that he traded out was nick Foles for the quarterback for the st louis rams sam bradford with no picks by the way and well um my opinion on this trade is a pretty bad one you know it's not a good trade i know a lot of you guys are going to be saying that well nick Foles suck you know he deserved to be to be traded for sam bradford blah blah you know he doesn't deserve to start whatever you know you, you guys can make hand on him but at least he has some downs going on the past few years you know he has been doing good you know, he, he did good in his first year. His second year was kind of sloppy, and then he got injured. But, um, you know, at least he has more playing time than Sam Bradford. I mean, look at Sam Bradford. Look at the facts. You see, this is what people don't even start looking at. Look at the facts first. Sam Bradford has not played a down in the regular season in the past two years. You see, now that might mind-blow you right there. You know, it's mind-fucking you right now. Sam Bradford has not played a down in the past two years, and you're telling me you're going to trade your current quarterback, Nick Foles, who has played a down at least, who almost went into a 500 record last year in the Philadelphia Eagles, for a quarterback who hasn't played a single down and for his backup quarterback to kind of do a lot better than him. I mean, I mean, like, what's going on here, man? Seriously, what, what's up with Chip Kelly? He, this guy is on something, man. This, this guy is on PCP, on fucking crack, or, or something, man. But, because this trade's sounds so dumb it's like he's selling out the eagles that's how it looks by this point i mean I, i'm a i'm a new york Giants fan y'all guys know that by now and um you know i hate the eagles but at the same time you know i want some good competition going on but not as much because i wanted my giants to win all the time but uh you know from my point of view it's a dumb trade so now you don't have a friend you don't have a, a quarterback that will last you at least five more years you got a quarterback that's fragile like sam bradford it's not going to last you for the next year for sure. He's going to get injured at some point. And uh, I think Nick Foles was value higher than Sam Bradford. I think he has higher value. And for him, for Chip Kelly just to trade him out like that, it's just it's, it's stupid, super dumb. It's just like the LaShawn McCoy thing. It's super dumb. So let's see what Chip Kelly has done lately. He overpaid Byron Maxwell. He paid him as much as, as uh, Richard Sherman. He traded out LaShawn McCoy for Kiko Alonso. He traded out Nick Foles for Sam Bradford. So you don't have a receiving unit because you let go of Jeremy Macklin. You don't have a quarterback that you can that you can trust for the next few years. You only you have a you don't have a running back you don't, because Frank Gore decided to go with the Colts instead. So you don't have an offense, bro. Chip Kelly, you don't have an offense. You may have a defense with Kiko Alonso and Byron Maxwell, but what about the offense? Where, where is it? Where, where, where's the offense? You know, next year. Hopefully, Jason Pierre-Paul and Prince of Mukamara, you know, start getting sacks and interceptions all over the goddamn place against these guys because they're not going to have an offense. They may have, some, they may have some current offensive linemen going on, but I'm telling you, Sam Bradford, when he's healthy, yeah, he might be a little bit good, but but you know, he's always under pressure and he's always getting injured, so that guy's fragile. Fragile. You can mostly trust Mark Sanchez over over Sam Bradford by this point. So, um, what is your opinion, guys? What's your opinion on this view? Because uh, it is very shocking what Chip Kelly's doing to the Philadelphia Eagles. Because for, for this point, it, he's starting to look like he's selling out the Eagles. Like, I know, like he knows he's going to get fired next year, so he's fucking up the Eagles roster. <laughs> I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I know most of you guys will agree on the trade, but I disagree on the trade. I think I think it's a dumb trade, and he's, and he's uh, you know... He's training for a quarterback who hasn't played for two years. I'd rather have Tim Tebow over Sam Bradford. You know, even though he hasn't played for two years either, at least he's fresh out the fucking bench. He's not. He hasn't been injured. So, um, anyways, yeah, leave your opinion, guys, in the comment section. I'll read them. I'll reply to them later. Talk about the trades and the latest releases. I will be talking about future releases and trades also and later on today. So uh, keep an eye out for my channel because there's going to be a lot more things coming up. And leaving out my opinions on these kinds of things. Because it's very shocking. This year is just full of surprises, man. Last year, there was no signings or releases or trades like this crazy. And um, doing all this shit right now with the Philadelphia Eagles is just insane. Super insane, man. 
<laughs> so uh, subscribe for more, guys. If you guys want to see more Ultimate Team and also more NFL news because I'm pretty sure there's going to be more surprises this whole week. So a lot more videos like these in the next few days. I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.